Hello guys and welcome to this new video. Today we are going to talk about statistics with Excel and more precisely about the data analysis toolback. So what is the data analysis toolback? It is an Excel add-in program that provides data analysis tools for financial, statistical and engineering data analysis. You only need to provide the data and parameters for each analysis. The tool uses the appropriate statistical or engineering macro functions to calculate and display the results in an output table. Some tools generate charts in addition to output tables. The data analysis functions can be used on only one worksheet at a time. To load the analysis tool pack add-in, we execute the following steps. On the file tab, click options. You go here to more options you go to add-ins you select manage excel add-ins you click on go and here we have the analysis tool pack you click on that press ok to find the analysis tool pack we go to data and here we have the data analysis The functions that we can execute are the ANOVA, the analysis of variance, correlation, covariance, descriptive statistics, exponential smoothing, F-test, two sample for variances, Fourier analysis, histogram, moving average, etc. And here we have the, diff the different statistical tests. To understand how exactly the analysis tool pack works, we are going to apply it to one example. So here we have a list of numbers. And here in this column we have the different categories. What we want to do is that we want to classify these different numbers into these categories. So we are going to use a histogram. To do so, we select data, data analysis tool pack and we click on histogram okay so here we have an input range the bin range the labels here we have the output and the different kinds of outputs that we want to get for the input range we have numbers so we start from here up to the 27th right for the beans we have the different categories we select from d5 to d10 the labels we don't want to display the labels because we are going to have the beans and the frequencies we want to select the output range so for example we are going to put it here in f10 and we want a histogram we want a chart output so we select chart output and you press OK. So here we have automatically the different categories and the different numbers classified. So this is all for this video. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.